Hello, 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 my dear student. This week we will be covering lesson 7-3, which is about proving triangles similar. The lesson essential question, how can you use the angle and sides of two triangles to determine whether they are similar? The objectives of this lesson is uh, use dilation and rigid motion to establish triangle similarity theorems. If you remember, we took previously how to prove that the two triangles congruent. Here, this is different because we will prove that they are similar. Okay, now let's go through the lesson quickly. We have many examples, many theorems to cover. First one is to establish the angle-angle similarity. This is the first one. Angle, angle, this sign is for similarity. Then we have the side, side, side similarity. And then we have side, angle, side similarity theorem. Angle, angle similarity, what does it talk about? The angle, angle similarity is when two angles of the first triangle are similar or measures the same in another triangle, corresponding triangles. So if these two angles, this angle is congruent to this angle, this angle to this angle, which means that the two triangles are similar. They are not congruent, they are similar. This is a very important point. The second theorem talks about Side, side, side similarity. Again, we had before side, side, side congruence here, side, side, side similarity. So what does that mean? To represent it mathematically, we use ratios or sides are proportional to each other. We will discuss it in details. Again, like we did in congruence, the similarity statement is very important. From that, we know that AB corresponds to DF, uh, sorry, to DE, and so on. We go through it in details in our lessons. In this part, which is theorem seven, three, it's about side, angle, side, and we already took this in congruency, but here, Two sides are proportional and the included angle is congruent. So you have to be very careful when taking this lesson, not to confuse it with the previous one. Here, sides, whenever we mention sides, they are proportional. They are not congruent, they are proportional. Proportional means that the ratio of one side to the other is equal to the ratio of another side to another side. We'll have many more examples to, to solve. We will make sure that you understand every concept of this lesson. If you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me. Like here, example four is to find the length of similar triangle. What is MN? MN corresponds to JK. Uh, this is 75 and this is one, let's say, by vertical angle theorems, we need to prove that they are uh, that they are similar first, and then we will conclude or write the proportion. Clear, miss? If you have any question, again, I am here to answer all your questions to clarify all concepts that you don't get easily. Then we will go through problems. Always in geometry, we like to solve problems. Like here, solving problem uh, about this tower uh, using proportions. And at the end, we have the concept summary in which we will have all three theorems listed in front of us. Side, 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 angle, side, and angle, angle, similarity. For the hundred million times, they are similar. 
They are not congruent. Angles are congruent, sides are proportional. As you have understood all previous lessons, I hope you will understand this lesson easily. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.